Hey, what's everybody doing? Welcome back to Ask That Podcast here on YouTube. Sorry, I need a sip of drink. I'm actually having a drink with sugar. I got Mountain Dew Major Melon. I can't find the Mountain Dew Major Melon Zero. I tried. And I'm not bitten. It's a weird thing. I don't like watermelon. I was told that as a three-year-old, we went to Watermelon Festival and I ate so much of it, I puked. I don't like the taste of watermelon, but... Watermelon flavor candy or soda doesn't taste like watermelon to me. I like it. It's really sweet. Everyone's why I crave that sugar. And I've been doing good on my diet. I got down to close to close to where I want to be. So I was like, yeah, I can splurge today. But, oh, and it's pink. And pink goes along with pink and gore. Because what we got here this time, this is the Blu-ray of Ed Wood by Tim Burton. We were two Academy Awards. Ed Wood. Even long before this came out, I was a fan of Ed Wood. I first heard about Ed Wood probably about 84. No, probably about 82. The local horror host, Sergeant Gray, showed Plan 9 from Outer Space and told, talked a little bit about Ed Wood you know, before the commercials and after the commercials. And I'm like, holy shit, I got to see more of this guy's stuff. But back then, you know, this is, excuse me, early 80s. I'm in an area where we had a lot of video stores, but you weren't finding Ed Wood stuff. And I was a Broke ass little kid. I couldn't afford to buy them. You know, my money went to comic books and video games and you know, comic books and video games, mostly. Rustlings, magazines. So when this film came out, I'm like, holy shit. And I love that it brought a whole new audience to Ed Wood. I love that it got a lot of his old stuff out there, easy to find. It was VHS, but hey, I love that it was black and white. I remember, I remember when I went and rented it because it did not play any theater near me. I don't know why it was a Tim Burton film. It should have. Because Tim Burton was big then. He had to sort of get in the backlash. He's got a little bit of one now. That did Tim Burton. It's huge. And uh, so it came out on video. And I remember going and renting it. Going over to a buddy of mine's house and putting it in. And like five minutes in, a bunch of people just looked like, yeah, it's fucking black. Why like, shut the fuck up. You thought Independence Day was good. Shut the fuck up. Ed Wood, real simple. Known as the worst director ever. Dude, actually, was not not even close to the worst director ever. It's just that he wasn't a great director, and he worked with very small budgets. You got Johnny Depp playing Ed Wood. We got Sarah Jessica Parker playing his wife. We got, oh, God. Martin Landau, got a Best Actor for Sporting role in this in 1984, as Bela Lugosi. And it, it basically tells Ed Wood's story from when he was doing plays until he did uh, Playing Out From Outer Space in its premiere. Even though it did not, a lot of stuff in this is fictionalized. It did not get the big premiere they show in the movie. Uh, he did not meet Bella when Bella was coffin shopping. But you know, a lot of stuff's in here like, you know, Bella died not very far. I don't think it out. They did not even started filming a uh, Plan 9. Ed had some footage from something else he was going to do with Bella and put it in and got a guy who looked kind of like Bella played with us. But they show you, know, Bride of the Monster. Yeah, Bride of the Monster. They show footage. Right? Just such a great, great film. And I was like, you know what? I've been wanting to see this again. I don't own it. I was shocked. I'm like, okay, I, don't have, I went and checked my master list, which ain't 100% accurate. And I swear one day I'll get the collection organized and all shelves looking nice and I'll go in there and I'll set up the camera and I'll just sit in front of the shelf like you see all these people doing on YouTube like hey, the shelf. Shelf porn baby. Shelf porn. And then I'll pan and be like, hey that's a lot of comic book long boxes. Like, yeah it is. Hopefully by then it'll be below 70. It's above 70 right now. I don't want to say how many it is. Jesus. It's a wonder I got fucking late in high school. Or even now. I fucking head was. So let's check this out. Okay. This looks good. There ain't nothing on the inside. What kind of extras do we have on here? We got deleted scenes, making making Bella make a feature after production design feature behind the scenes, the theorem and documentary, audio commentary, and music video. Okay. But just my thing with Tim Burton is that as I've gotten older, I've gotten where I don't really enjoy it. I mean, when I was younger, yeah. I didn't know who did Pee Wee's Big Adventure first. I'm like, I love the movie. I still do. You know, Beetlejuice enjoyed it. The first Batman, I enjoyed it a lot when I saw it. Every time now, I said, like, Michael Keaton sucks as Bruce Wayne. He's good as Batman. Jack Nicholson's a little too over the top for Joker. Uh, there's a lot of flaws in it. They didn't need the 
Ty Joker into Batman's parents dying. I have never seen all the Batman Returns. I'll be straight up honest. And there's a reason for that. Before it came out, like, eight or nine months before it came out, I was at the convention, and the original Sam Ham script for Batman Returns had been leaked. And the guy was selling it. And he wanted, like, 20 bucks for it, which, yeah, I could kind of understand back then, their auction was not as cheap as it is now, so yeah. It probably cost him five to six bucks unless he worked in like a Kinko or something to print it out. It was Xerox it out, so yeah. And I bought it, sat down and read it, and it was fucking amazing. It was a direct sequel to the first one. Vicky Bale was in it. Robin was in it. It was badass. And I knew they didn't use that script. I've just never seen all the Batman Returns. When I've seen them, I'm like, yeah. I don't, I hate how they did Catwoman. I just, oh. and then Penguin, the big thing with Penguin is that there's a certain person who I went to high school, God, elementary school, good chunk of junior high and high school, with who supposedly the smartest girl in the school got knocked up our senior year, and when she was pregnant, she was just like pink with that hair to her. So I say, I'm like, oh, God, it makes me think of that. I don't know who I don't, lady, well, lady, and I know a woman, man, who I don't get along with. And then, honestly, I, Edward Sister is one of those, I've seen it once, and it's okay. I ain't a big fan of it. I like Mars Attacks. I thought Mars Attacks is pretty good. Um, Nightmare Before Christmas, I'm not a fan. I saw it, not when it was in theaters, but Susan Hill didn't watch it. I'm like, okay, it's okay. It's, yeah. And that ain't Tim Burton. Tim Burton just produced it. You don't think it's him. And Sleepy Hollow was one where first thought it wasn't bad, and it just it doesn't hold a repeat. Either. This is one that's probably, to me, this is his best film. It's understandable, you know, why you know you got a couple awards for it. But yeah, go track this down. If you're interested in the history of a little budget filming, you can try. I mean, there's some parts that are fictionalized, but it works and it tells a good story and it's definitely worth and it's not it's inexpensive on Blu-ray. I think the DVD, I think it's one of those where the DVD actually costs more. And I know there is there's two releases of the DVD. There's a first release that has some feature at the head, uh, extra feature they had to get rid of. So it got pulled really quick, and then there's the second version that I've heard the feature is still on there. It's just there's no way to access it unless you put it in a computer and do it like title by title. But the DVD, from I remember when I looked, will cost more than this and you know used than this new because this was ten bucks somewhere around there. All right, but you know what? I'm out. Hope you enjoyed that. I mean, if you did, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, all the other bullshit. Talk to everybody later. Bye bye.